Okay, guys, this is going to be a JLB Cosmetics um, review of their intense high pigment lip colors. Um, I have seen these at Ross a couple times, and they reminded me of the Too Faced Liquid Lick, the Too Faced Melted. I don't even know what they're called. Melted melted lipsticks or something like that I don't know I have a couple like three or four of those um so they reminded me of those they're a lot more they're a lot more cheap or a lot cheaper though I can't even talk they're a lot cheaper than that though and I was like really debating on getting them and I was like no I don't want to spend the money on stuff if it's not going to work well but I did see another couple reviews on these and they worked out pretty well for them so I thought that I would try them out too after seeing the reviews so, um, if you want to know where I got these from, I got them from Ross and they were $6.99. So, yeah. And you get five colors. So, anyways, this is what the front of the box looks like. I already took out the, um, lipsticks. And then the back of the box looks like this and it tells you the color names. But one of them is covered okay yeah i can still tell you the names okay so you have this pinkish color right here which is the shade bella and then this one this nudie shade is called nude and then the middle shade is coral and then orchid and iconic red are the last two so they give you a pretty good um range of colors so i'm just going to do like a first impressions kind of a thing i was gonna put this on my lips but I don't really feel like it and I have no other makeup on so whatever I mean if you want to see a more in-depth like lip swatch review on these then by all means let me know but for now we'll just do this so yes um the first color is Bella so looks like this this is what the tube looks like pretty cute it looks like the uh, melted lipstick by Too Faced which I don't know why I can't think of the name right now but anyways however there is a difference um it has a wand, so it pulls out of there with a wand, whereas the melted one um, has like a doe fit applicator on the tip and it squeezes out. So that's kind of cute. I mean, I kind of like this better, if you ask me, because I had a problem with one of mine before. So I do like this better. Anyways, just a regular doe foot applicator. And let's see the color pigmentation. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um... I'm not sure if this, I can't remember if this is supposed to dry matte or not, so I guess I'll have to see. If you want me to let you know down in the comments below, then by all means, ask me if it dried matte, if you're interested in that. Um, so anyways, that's the first color, which is Bella. And then the second color is Nude, which is this nude color. This is probably going to be my favorite one. It's like an orangey nude, so, yeah. Uh, so that color right there, like an orangey nude. And then the third color is coral. Looks like that. It's kind of like a reddish coral, though. At least that's what it looks like. Or an orangey coral. It's not like your typical light coral. It's definitely a brighter one. It's that one right there, obviously. And then the fourth one is the purple one, which is Orchid. Although I'm sure some people will say Orchid, but... <sighs> um, yeah, so it's just the purple. I know this like probably isn't that interesting, but this is kind of like my... Just like a little swatch. And then I guess I will put one on at the end. But anyways, there's that one. And then um, Iconic Red, which is the red one. When I saw it in someone else's swatch, I thought that it was kind of like a pinky red. So I don't know why it's Iconic Red. Yeah, because like on me, it's coming out to be like not really even red. It's more of like a... I don't even know how to explain it. It's more of like a pink so, that's the iconic red. So, it's not like your true, like, blue-toned red. It's kind of like a more pink. Um, so, yeah, I guess I will put this one on 
and see how I like it. I like can't even see because I'm not that close to the thing, but whatever. So, as you can tell, I mean, it is pretty pigmented, I guess. I guess I should have just picked a different color because this one's kind of like in my natural lip color. But it does feel pretty good on my lips. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't feel super drying, so that's pretty cool. And for only, what was it, $6.99, that's a good deal because you get five of them for $7. And I can bring these with me when I go traveling. So, I mean, I don't really need to be bringing expensive makeup with me when I go traveling. Like when I go to the river and stuff, I can bring these. And hello, there's like five different shades that will cover everything. And if I lose one, forget one, don't like one, whatever is cheap. So, Yes, but my boyfriend did buy me these ones, so don't want to lose them. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, that's all I have to show you. And so far, judging from what I saw in someone else's review and from my own, like, you know, putting on my lips and the swatches, I would recommend these for the price, definitely. Um, so if these are colors that interest you, I would go check them out. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.